experiencing a billion dollar weather disaster every three weeks. This is what cutting funding to the National Weather Service will look like. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was part of Doge's cuts. This included reducing the staff at the National Weather Service. Regardless of what app you're using to get your weather info, it's coming from the NOAA and the NWS. Because of the cuts, many weather forecasting offices no longer have overnight staff and are just short staffed in general. So there's less people who will be able to quite literally ring the alarm to alert folks of incoming dangerous weather events. This isn't fear mongering, it's reality. We're about to step into hurricane season and it's getting worse every year. And now we're less prepared than ever to help people take safety precautions like evacuating. It's worth mentioning that the Trump administration also announced they won't be tracking the cost of major weather events, partly because of their commitment to getting rid of climate research. Not only that, but Project 2025 called for the privatization of the NWS, meaning if you want to know that a potentially deadly storm is headed right towards you, you'll have to cough up a subscription fee. With most of the country not able to afford basic things like food or homes, do you think weather is going to be a priority? Yeah, it is a little dystopian. Okay, maybe a lot dystopian that only people who can afford to find out weather info will be able to prepare. Remember, government spending doesn't mean government waste. Sometimes that spending is really important, like saving lives.